Hey, welcome back to Living MN Outdoors and thanks for tuning in to this week's fishing report. Before we get into the fishing report, if you guys use any of the resorts or guides mentioned in the fishing report, please let them know you saw them on Living MN Outdoors. That's a huge help to our channel and we really appreciate it. But with that being said, let's jump right into today's report. We're going to start out up on Mille Lacs Lake. I was able to get in contact with Jeff from Castles Resort this week. Uh, he did say that they do have some cabins available through August and then into the fall they have a lot more availability. Now as far as fishing goes, he said that walleye fishing has been improving, but they are extremely deep. Uh, even out to like 36 feet of water. Now I don't recommend you guys going out there and catching and releasing walleyes in that 32 plus feet of water, um, but you can find them in that 26 to 36 feet of water. Now the best tactics for uh, catching those walleyes are trolling spinners, bottom bouncers, or crankbaits on lead core. Uh, the walleyes are just kind of out in that vast deep water area, so the more water you can cover, or if you can locate them on your electronics, the better off you're going to be. Now, Jeff said that the pike fishing has slowed down a little bit. Uh, they still are catching a bunch of them, but it seems to be only in the mornings. Uh, they're trolling them spinner baits over those weed lines, and uh, they're picking up some uh, northern. But as the sun gets high in the sky, the bite is dying off. Now he said that the perch bite is still kind of hit or miss. Uh, some people are getting some nice ones, 9 to 11 inches. Uh, nothing super big, but if you do get on a school of perch, they are getting some nice eater sized perch. Now if you're looking to get out on a launch trip out on Mille Lacs Lake, a big guided boat, uh, they are running Thursday through Sunday from 5 p.m. to 9 p.m. Uh, you need to call ahead and book that trip. It's $35 per person but it covers your rod and reel and your bait, and they do have a bathroom on board. So if you guys are looking to get up to the Isle Bay area on Mille Lacs Lake, go ahead and give Jeff a call from Castles Resort. <clears throat> All right, now moving over to Norseman Guide Service. I talked to Mark yesterday. Uh, he told me that the smallmouth fishing has improved a little bit, but it's still a little bit slower than it was earlier in the year. Now he said on the east side of the lake, the fish are a little bit deeper. Uh, he said that 20 foot and deeper. Uh, he still said the best ways to target those are a drop shot or a ned rig, but they have been seeing the bite increase on football head jigs with creature baits. Uh, still the best color is that green pumpkin, uh, and them fish are starting to lock onto their midsummer spots. So uh, boulders or deep, steep breaks, uh, that's where you can find those smallmouth right now. Mark also told me that the Mille Lacs Lake Smallmouth Alliance is partnering up with the MLF, Major League Fishing, and on September 10th at the Rocky Bottom Restaurant in Garrison, they are going to have a big party. Uh, there's going to be a meet and greet with some of the big time bass fishermen. Um, they're going to have raffles, giveaways, door prizes, food, drinks, uh, all of that. Uh, he said that you'll probably go home with a lot more in tackle than you do have to pay for your entry fee. Uh, but if you want more information on that, go ahead and look up the Mille Lacs Lake Smallmouth Alliance and you can get all the details you need on their website for that. So if you're looking to get up to Mille Lacs Lake on a guided trip, go ahead and give Mark a call from the Norseman Guide Service. All right, now let's move over to Lake Winnebagoshish. I talked to Chad from the Pines Resort and Scott from Zup's Guide Service. Uh, they told me that the walleye bite is still staying consistent. Uh, they're targeting that five to 10 feet of water on them shoreline breaks or on the shallow rock piles out into the lake. Uh, they said the best way to target those walleyes is pulling spinners or crankbaits. Now, as far as crankbaits go, uh, the number nine shad wrap in crawfish has been the color of choice, and you will pick up some nice walleyes that way. Now, as far as pike fishing goes, he said they've been picking up some really nice pike along with the walleyes. They haven't really been targeting them, uh, but they are picking up a few nice ones trolling those crankbaits and those spinners. 
Now bass fishing, he said that's been pretty slow lately, but if you do want to find them, target those weed edges, uh, the reeds, and you might find a few nice bass up in there. Now he said the perch, they're still scattered, they're really hard to target, but they do pick up a few while trolling for those walleyes as well. well. The bluegills, he said if you want to catch some really big bluegills, the bluegills are up in the reeds, uh, so you got to get right up in those reeds. A uh, slip bobber with a night crawler below it is probably the best bet for catching those really big bluegills. Oh, he did tell me that the musky bite has really started to improve. Uh, he said they're up in shallow, six to eight feet of water. Bucktails and topwaters are really working well. So if you want to catch some muskies, now is the time to get up there and they're catching some pretty nice ones on top of that. Chad does have openings in his cabins, RV sites, tent sites, uh, whatever you're looking for. He's got some left in August. Uh, he said September and October. There's quite a bit of availability, so go ahead and make those plans and get that booked as soon as possible. One other thing that uh, Chad wanted me to mention is the Pines Resort is going to have live music this coming Sunday from 5 to 8 p.m. The public is welcome. Stop in there, listen to some great music, get a drink, get something to eat, and just enjoy your Sunday evening. Now, if you want to stay up at the Pines Resort and then you're looking for a guide, we highly recommend Scott from Zup's Guide Service. Uh, he is a walleye master, uh, and you won't be disappointed if you book a trip with him. So if you're looking for a place to stay up on Lake Winnebogoshish, go ahead and call Chad from the Pines Resort. Or if you're looking for a guide, go ahead and call Scott from Zup's Guide Service. Now, moving on over to Leech Lake, I talked to the guys from Leech Lake Guide Team, LLC. They said the walleye bite has been staying pretty consistent. Now, as far as areas they say to target, they said shallow sand points. Uh, in that six to 12 feet of water, they said the best way to target those fish right now is with a slip bobber with a little jig head below it and tipping that with a leech. Uh, now work those sand points slow, uh, and if you pick up some fish, go ahead, keep working that same area. But if you're marking fish and they're not biting, they said switching your color is key right now. Now some of the best colors they've used are gold, blue, and watermelon. Uh, and just remember to keep switching them if you're not getting those fish to bite. Now as far as the general areas to look for those, uh, Steamboat Bay, Agency Bay, North Walker Bay are a few good areas to look. Uh, and that's where they've been picking up a lot of their walleyes. As far as panfish go, he said that the bluegills are finding those in 8 to 10 feet of water. He said find that deeper cabbage in about 8 to 10 feet of water. Uh, and he said some of the best bays for that are those northern bays like Sucker Bay. Uh, and then they're using a slip bobber uh, with either a plain hook or a tiny jig and half of a night crawler. And you'll catch some really nice bluegills. Now, he did tell me that the musky bite is really starting to pick up. Uh, he said one of the best areas for that right now is Agency Bay. He said they're up in shallow. They've been getting them on top waters and on bucktail spinners. But kind of look for that shallow structure and just work around the edges of them and you should pick up some nice fish. Now, if you guys are looking for a place to stay up on Leech Lake, we recommend Horseshoe Bay Lodge. They got cabins, hotel rooms. They have a full bar and restaurant pool, hot tub, sauna, whatever you're looking for, they can accommodate you. And even if you aren't staying at Horseshoe Bay Lodge, they got a big marina. You can pull your boat up in there and enjoy a nice meal out on their patio. So if you're looking to book a guided trip up on Leech Lake, go ahead and give Austin a call from Leech Lake Guide Team. Or if you're looking for a place to stay, go ahead and call Cam or Courtney from Horseshoe Bay Lodge. All right, well, that's going to do it for this week's fishing report. I really hope you guys are getting out there and catching some fish. If you do and you want to take some pictures, go ahead and send them into our email at livinmnoutdoors at gmail.com and we will feature you in next week's fishing report. Now before we go, I want to give a huge shout out to Max. Uh, I went fishing with him this past weekend. First time ever fishing with him and he caught his PB walleye. It was a little over 28 inches. Caught that out on Lake Superior and we had a blast while doing it. Now, I want you guys to remember, be kind at the boat ramp. Get out there, good luck fishing. And most importantly, don't forget to get on out there and get living.